Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey, day 15, 74 days left to accomplish your goals in 2013. I am excited to be with you again this morning. Hey, it's uh, I think 607, 608. I've uh, gotten up. I've spent time with God this morning. I've uh, been on the treadmill for about 15 minutes. I've and I've uh, what we say in the army. I've shit showered and shaved already, and I'm coming to you now. Hey, within about an hour's time, there's a lot of different things that you can get done. When you have, when you decide what you when, what you're gonna do, when you commit to accomplishing what you said you're gonna do, and that is the present tense succeeding, succeed. All right, um, we're into the fifteenth day here, right? Um, I start off just with the morning video for for um, the first week, and then. Um, that next week, that second Monday, then I added an evening video to it, right? And so now we're going into really our third week, right? Um, not sure what else I can add um, video-wise for you. However, I did just um, bring in my treadmill um, from the garage yesterday, um, oiled it up, got it working, um, and, and I put it to work this morning. I produced results. That's what taking action is all about. You want to see what you say you're going to do. Are you able to do it? And when you do it, are you able to improve on the efficiency of doing it? Okay. Again, in order to make, in order to um, have different results, you must do different things. Okay. You want to avoid being an insane person, right? Doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. It's not going to happen. You're going to have to possibly change your whole um, system, change the way you go about um, going throughout your day. All right. What time do you get up? Maybe you need to work on getting up. At least me, I understand what my image of, of success is of a successful day. And it's getting up at 5 a.m. and going to bed at about 9, 9 p.m. at night. Right? Those are my bookends. I understand from 5 a.m. to 9 p.m. I have to accomplish everything that I need to accomplish. Right? Some days I may go to sleep later than 9 uh, p.m. But guess what? I'm going to begin the day at 5 a.m., all right? Uh, that's that's my plan. I've been doing it now for uh, two weeks. It didn't take long for me to get back up at 5 a.m. It's because now I've decided to, and committed to that, right? I want to be able to, to succeed in this for myself so I can inspire others to do that same thing, to take action, to decide that the action that you want will produce better results, OK, just do it like Nike says. And the only thing I'm trying to do is saying, hey, I'm a coach, life coach. I'm a human resource development, um, um, educated guy. Um, I am a medic. I was in a medic in the army. I've been doing patient care, health care for a very, very long time. But all of that to say with my with with me being an instruction designer too, write the instructions down and take it step by step. I remember. I think I really. I wish my mom was here. Um, God rest her soul. To 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 um, solidify what I'm gonna say. I started reading at a very very early age, and I started reading instructions at a very very age. Therefore, it meant I also followed instructions from a very very uh, young age. Meaning, I started cooking pancakes just off the direction on the box. It took me a little while for they, uh, so they would become edible, but I did. It was because I took action. I decided that I wanted that, 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 uh, those pancakes. It was just out of the box, right? Add water back in the day, mix it up, right? I decided that's what I wanted to do. I committed to, to doing it, and I was successful at it because I followed the instructions, right? I reflected. I analyzed the data, which is reflection, and then I went back to the drawing board and did it again. Isn't that what Thomas Edison did to get the lights, right? He didn't fail uh, all those many times. He was just trying to figure out which one worked best, right? So guess what, guys? It's Monday. It's October 14th. I'm excited about the things that's happening in my life, the, the inspiration that, um, that I hope I'm inspiring others with. Guys, get involved. www.lifeprobenefitsgroup.com. All right? Lifeprobenefitsgroup.com. Um, really, what's the what is one of the main reasons why I'm doing this today? Proverbs 14 talking about change, 
right? I'm really preparing for this season that I'm going into and and I want to kick off 2014 in a in a real strong fashion. I want to I want to have my schedule out. I want to be able to have my team um supporting the effort, the mission on there so we all can be working in step, lock it step, right? With each other, right? Decide, commit, succeed. That's what I've decided to do. That's what I've committed to do. That's success. I'm just trying to find some people that want to get on the Life Pro bus with me. I'm driving, and hey, I don't mind getting off the wheel and letting other people drive where I could talk to the talk to the passengers, coach up the passengers, right? Coach up the people that's on the journey with me. Hey guys, I'm so happy. Everything is going on in my life. I'm grateful. My wife is awesome. I'm, I'm awesome. I'm creative. I'm, I'm fantastic. Hey. Um, in a humble way, right? Mind over matter. If it don't mind, it don't matter. All right. Remember that, Chuck? Remember our drill sergeant said that? If it don't mind, it don't matter. All right. So hey, so understand we have to get out our get out of our own way and put in front of us what matters. Okay? And guess what? We may have to overcome that speed bump of I don't feel like it. Because guess what? You know how many times people don't feel like doing things, but guess what? They still choose to do it. Showing up is half the battle. So show up and show out, all right? Um, have a super fantastic Monday. Decide, commit, succeed.